Okay, now you've already launched Adobe Premiere Pro. You may have had to come to a login screen um, to log in with your Adobe ID. Uh, once that's been completed, um, your screen should look perhaps similar to this, um, especially if you've already opened it before. Um, this is kind of like a welcome screen where you get some tips or suggestions. You might have some um, previous projects you've worked on. Uh, but right now, we're going to go right here to where it says New Project. So click on that. And then our New Project dialog box opens up. What you want to do first is you want to change the location to the place where you want to save your Adobe Premiere Pro projects. The default is on the local drive, and you want to make sure that you're not only saving it to the folder on the Mars drive, but the proper folder on the Mars drive. So if I go ahead to JRN your class number, go to your name, then there's the editing basics folder I created in the last tutorial. Now I have my five folders again. Footage is where we already put our uh, footage to edit with. We put that already loaded in there. But this is now the project file. So we wanna make sure this is selected as the destination. So inside of project files will be not only the project files we create, but also be the auto saves in case something should happen, you, you know, forgot to save when you closed it or it was a crash, your auto saves will also go into this folder. So click choose. Now you want to name your project something. So we're going to go ahead and call this, this is going to be basically Oyster Bay Festival. Okay. Got my name. Click OK. And then your screen should load up. It might, with your first time, look something similar to this, okay? What you see on the top here are different kinds of workspaces depending upon what you're editing with. So the default when you first do it is do learning. So they have some kind of tutorials about, you know, overview and the basics, some, some cool things to learn once you kind of take a deeper dive into Premiere. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go right to editing. In editing, you have these several windows already kind of opened up. So you, the first thing you're going to look here is this project folder that has the Oyster Bay Festival. In here, we're going to want to import the media to start. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Import, and I'm going to navigate to that folder that, see, Jaren, in your class number, fill out here, Editing Basics, Footage, and now I'm going to go ahead and select the folder that has all my footage in it. The footage is in here. Again, similar like we did before with transferring from your card. Select the first one. Scroll down. Shift click the last one. And then go ahead and click on import. Once your footage is imported, you will see all the footage that you shot here in the bottom left corner. That you can navigate and look at. So right over here, it says drag media here to create sequence. I would prefer in the beginning that you um, manually create a sequence. Don't just use the default right there. So if you go ahead and go to file, new, sequence. There's going to be several options of types of sequences that you could choose from. Now, a sequence is where you're going to put all of your edited clips once uh, you start to edit. So with the sequence, there's several settings depending upon cameras you use or you know resolutions you want to do. Um, the one that I'll use that seems to be the most versatile right now is I would choose AVC Intra, 1080i, and then 1080i60. This seems to be the most versatile um, for what we're editing here at the School of Journalism between the broadcast studio and goes online. Um, this type of setting uh, not only looks great, but is versatile with a lot of different media that you may export to in the end throughout your time here at the School of Journalism. So the sequence name you'll see here at the bottom, you want to go ahead and change that. You want to name your sequence something that's specific. So it might be, for me, Oyster Bay First draft in there. So that way I have a name for the sequence I'm going to do. That way if I have multiple sequences for different drafts, um, by, by making a name that's kind of specific, I'll be ready to go. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you'll see here this change to kind of looks like a big grid. This is where you're going to be putting footage when you're done when you're editing. There's video for video tracks and audio for audio tracks. For this beginning one, we're going to basically center on V1, which is the video track one, and then A1 for our audio track. Okay. So I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a, a shot of B-roll. Um, B-roll is footage that you would shoot that supports the narrative of your story. So because of the Oyster Festival, um, it's very colorful. There's lots of fun things to look at. So if you put your mouse over a clip, you kind of get a little preview of what might be in there. If you double click on it, it will appear in this window. So now there's footage. You'll see the camera kind of moves around a lot depending upon the different attractions that you may want to grab and see uh, for footage. So I'm going to go ahead and select the clip in here. That's maybe this really nice shot here of the Ferris wheel. Let's take a look right here. So once this shot kind of settles right there at the end, I'm going to choose this one in here. So how do I choose this specific clip? So once I get set on a spot that looks like the camera's not moving, I might use my left arrow or right arrow to make sure where I go frame by frame uh, to make sure that it's not camera movement that I don't want to have in it. I will then want to select what's called an in point. An in point is where you want to start your edit. So you can either do one of two ways. You could either just click this right over here, or you could use the shortcut I. So I'm going to use I for in. And then I'm going to play it for about three seconds or so. When you shoot B-roll, you want to be between three to five seconds, erring more on the three second side. Okay, so I'm going to hit the space bar, which is a shortcut to play it, or I click this button right here. So space bar to play. One, two, three. All right, nice steady shot, lots of color in it. And now I'm ready to set my out point. So I'm going to go ahead and hit O for out. And now you can see right here, I've selected my in to my out point. Now I'm ready to go ahead and put it on my timeline. A couple ways you could do it. One, you could use an insert edit, which I'll go into a little bit later. Also, you could use an overwrite edit. Uh, again, go into that a little bit later on about how these work. Um, but you could, the easiest way is simply just to click, hold, drag, and drop it right to the project when your video one line and your audio one line. Now, if you look there, it looks kind of tiny, right? You really can't see it that well. The way to kind of zoom in on your view of your timeline, you'll see these little handles for left and the right here. Click, hold, and drag this right one to make it look a bit bigger or make it look smaller depending upon what you want to view. So I'm going to make mine look a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play that clip. And there it is. So now I have my first edit. If I want to choose another clip, let's say, I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll go back in here a little bit to these people, perhaps on the um, this is ride here, maybe. See, maybe I'll wait for this person to kind of walk away, see if there's enough footage after that. I'll hit again, I for in. Let it play for a little bit. One, two, three. Hit space bar to stop. Hit O for out. I see I got about a four second clip right there. Again, it's right over here. Now, where the playhead's located, if I hit shift and drag, it'll snap to the edge of the last clip that I just did, which is very useful because you don't want to accidentally overwrite the clip. So now that the playhead's right at the end of that clip. Let me make sure again. Right there, good. I can either use the overwrite, which will then, sorry, overwrites right over here, which will overwrite anything that's located here. Or I could do the insert, which means I'll take this clip and insert it wherever the playhead is and push the footage over. Or you could also adjust this video thing back here. Simply click, hold, drag, and drop it right to the edge. Now, when I play it, I have my first B-roll clip. And then my second B-roll clip. And now I have my first edit done. Okay? So go ahead and practice with your footage. And then I'll come back with our next steps.